Good morning on day three for the hammock. Well, it's 5.30 in the morning. The sound of the wind is not encouraging. again it is the morning of day three I've just been across um, uh, I've just been across Trout Lake and I'm on the two and a half kilometer portage to Lac Lemure I'm gonna be using my phone uh, to shoot these little videos here and there and to monitor the time and the GPS to show how far along I am so we'll see how it goes Well, a little halfway there, a little shy of halfway. I'm doing well, I'm tired, but I'm going at a steady pace. Bugs are bad, as you may or may not be able to see. I'm still glad that I'm doing this rather than fighting the, the waves and the wind up there on the lakes. Because as tired as I am, that's more dangerous and I'd still be tired. So I've stopped off at a campsite so I can get some lunch and just kind of refuel myself. And it turns out that site is occupied by the Ministry of Natural Resources park wardens. They're in doing some maintenance on this lake and they generously allowed me to stop and have some lunch. So I'm going to stay out of their way mostly and uh, be on my way so soon. Well, I'm in a bad way here. The wind on uh, Lac Lemure is worse than it was on whatever the hell lake it was yesterday. Happy Isle, and uh, so I've had to ditch at a campsite. The intention is to let the winds die down a little bit. I haven't got much farther to go before I'm shielded behind some land, but right now it's not safe to be out there, even for the half a kilometer I need to travel first. Uh, today is supposed to end with a 600 meter portage into Hogan, but it might end right here. So the park wardens were kind enough to phone ahead on their radio and arrange a water taxi for me at 5 o'clock on Friday afternoon from the pro portage back to the access point. Um, Friday was intended to be just paddling Opiongo, but I don't think so. So what that does is it saves me Opiongo, and even if I'm on time, it means I'm just hanging out at the at the uh, at the portage until supper time, until I get my ride out. Um, what it also does is it buys me a day um, if I want to shorten up my my daily treks because um, maybe I'll only get to Big Crow tomorrow or something and then Crow the next day instead of Crow tomorrow anyway I've set up my hammock because I'm just gonna hang up my hammock for now I'm exhausted and I need to wait out the wind so here I'm in the hammock I um just gonna hang out here. I set a timer for an hour and a half in case I fall asleep. 
So I'll check out the water conditions at 4 o'clock. And if I think it's safe, I'll go. And 4 o'clock should give me enough time, I guess, to get the Hogan. And if not, screw it, I'll stay here. Here it is, 9 o'clock, and I am in bed. I figure I landed on the site at about 7. So from that, I'm going to calculate my paddle times based on the breaks I took and the portages I walked. I might fiddle with my camera stuff. My GoPro died on me just as I tried to take a video of a moose. So I'm going to pull the card out of that and see what's on it. I'll load it up onto my onto my tablet and the other camera as well. And the company I work for has been giving us these uh, little step counters here. Um, I drive to a sit down job. I don't really get a lot of steps. Um, so I thought I would take it with me on this trip. Today, I'm not sure if you can see. Today, 18,114. And then the website will also allow me to add other uh, non stepping activities such as kayaking. So I'm going to figure out how much time I spent on that today. And when I get home, I'll key this all into the website.